So let us try to look at the shapes of the various orbitals. This is the simplest one. The, this is the 1s orbital, right? The, the white one, the lighter one within the red one shows the shows the electrons and the red one shows the region of zero electron density, right? So, so it is basically we saw is, and, and, and to top it all, this is the cut model, okay? So, this is the hemisphere that you are seeing. Why? Because otherwise drawing the, the diagrams all over the whole sphere and showing it as a 3D, that becomes a difficult job, right? So, so that's why they have cut it. So, you should assume that that the other half of this, this sphere is missing and, and it is identical and you should just join them. So, so for one as the highest density is at the center, as you move away, the density, the density starts dropping off and, and for, for some distance away, it just drops off to almost zero. So most of, of the electrons are concentrated in the center. Here, here we see that the same kind of thing happens. It is slightly bigger. The, the sphere is, this is 2s, the sphere is bigger. In the center, we have some probability density. Then there is a nodal plane. Then again, the probability density picks up and then it goes to zero and uh, then it tends to zero. It does not go to zero, right? It tends to zero. Here it goes to zero. And, and this is 3s. And undoubtedly, that is also greater than, than 2s. And there is probability density followed by, by, by this region of this region, this, this, okay, of, of, of density zero, okay, and, and, okay, so, so this red and that, okay, they represent the two nodes, fine, they represent the two nodes. The white ones are representing the electrons, right? And the red ones are representing the nodes. Fine. They have somehow wrongly shown it here. White as the node. Okay? Okay, because, because, because if white is the node, then the center should have been red. Fine? So the red one is the node. So so the one of the nodes is here. Let me, let me mark that. This is this is one of the nodes and, and this is the other node, right? These are the nodes, right? And orientation is, is the same, fine? Now we go to, to a P orbital. This is how it looks, okay? It is double shaped, so normally this, this is not the shape that we'll be able to draw. So normally we, we draw it as, as something like this. Okay, as a student on, on, on a paper, we will be drawing it like that. We normally draw it like this. Okay. This is unoriented, right? This is unoriented. So, so if you have maybe you have maybe say this as x axis as a, 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 as they have shown it here so, so you will tend to draw it like that get that you tend to draw it like that if it is along the y axis then here right and and it's along the z axis like that so and and this is the nodal plane and we understand this is the nodal plane what do we mean by nodal plane there the probability is zero you see, this going to, this showing nothing means that, the center showing nothing means that the probability of, the, of finding the electron here is, is zero. In one as the probability of finding the electron in the center was the highest. Here, the probability of finding out the electron at the center is the least. Okay? And, and they have three orientations. So one along the x-axis, another along the y-axis, and then the next along the z-axis. Okay? Okay? And what do they represent? In terms of L, what are they? 
in terms of L, this is 1. Okay? And for that corresponding M is minus 1, 0 and 1. That's why you have 3 orbitals. Right? That's why you have 3 different orbitals in 3 different orientations. We get the point? Now we come to the D orbital. Okay, we come to the D orbital. What is D? First of all, it is L is equal to L is equal to 2. For that, the corresponding M will be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. 5 of them. So, so you will see 5 orientations here. Fine? They are the nodal planes. These planes, right? This plane and, and, and this plane. They are the nodal planes. They are the probability, the probability of finding the electron goes to 0. And it has got 4, four balloon kind of structures. Instead of 2 as you found in, in, in the P orbital, right? And, and when these balloons are between X and Y, between X and Y, right? And they are symmetrical along the Z axis, then you tend to call it 3D XY. Okay? Here they are between X and Z, so you call it 3D XZ. You understand? It is between them. This egg kind of structure, this, this egg kind of structure is between the X axis and the Z axis. Fine? Now what? This is between this is between the z and the y axis. So 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 this is called 3d yz. Okay, this is 3d yz. And let us come to this. It is it is it is pointed along the x axis. You see that? This is pointed along the x axis. This lobe and and this the opposite the yellow one. Okay. They point along the x-axis, so they write it as the x2, pointing in the direction of x-axis. And at this blue one, if you see, that points in the, this points in the direction of, of the y-axis, this and, and this blue node. That points in the direction of y-axis, so we call it y2. Get that? Get that? Here, this this points in the direction of z-axis. This is exquisite, right? It looks beautiful. This is the nodal plane. This is the nodal plane. Okay? This is the nodal plane. Here, here too, all those transparents, they were the nodal planes. And, and there is a lobe here. And then it seems to be encircled by, by a, by a, by a, a cookie kind of thing, right? Okay? And since this points in the direction of the Z axis, you call it Z2, Z3. So if you have things like X2, it means it will point along the X axis direction. If it is both X, X and Y, they will point along the X and Y direction, then you tend to call it X2, Y2. Okay? So three of them are X, Y, Y, Z, Z, X. One of them is, you see that? So, so it is 3D XY, 3D, 3D YZ, 3D ZX. Then you have one which is the both the both the opposite lobes they point along the X axis and Y axis. So X axis and Y axis pierces them, right? Then it is this, and, and when it is it is along the z-axis, you call it 3dz2. So I don't think you will have a problem keeping them in mind, right? If you, if you understand it this way. Okay? Fine. Next we will see the, the, the f orbitals. And, and for f, there will be 7 of them, right? Since there is no, no space left here, 
so i'll have to go to the next videos for doing that